Here's how to do a reversible cable. You can see that this is a four stitch cable, two knit stitches, twist over, two other knit stitches, but let's look at the back. We've got the same thing. It's completely reversible. Oh my gosh, it's so cool, and it's really easy too. So the trick to doing a reversible cable, which by the way looks really nice, you could do a giant one as a scarf, or you could do you could do cables like this on a scarf. Um, the secret is that this is ribbed. This swatch is ribbed right here. You can see that I'm alternating here between knit and purl stitches. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, all the way down this swatch. And ribbing just happens to sort of tighten up and only display the knit stitches. And so because of that, there are knit stitches on both sides and purl stitches on, there's ribbing on both sides basically because ribbing is reversible. And so the cable is reversible as well. And you can do this with any number of stitches. I decided to do it with eight stitches these four are the ones that cross over and these four are the ones that go behind. So the wider you do it the more difficult it's going to be but um, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, cast on, let's see how many do I have, let's count by five so it's fast. Five, ten, fourteen stitches, right? <laughs> um, I have fourteen stitches casted on. Go ahead and work as much as you want in ribbing at least about four rows of knit one Pro one ribbing, and then we're gonna we're gonna cross these stitches like that. It's gonna lean to the right like that. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna work in ribbing up to the cable. Knit one, pro one, like this. All right. Now it's time to cable these stitches right here. These four stitches need to be held to the back of the work while we work these stitches right here. And for that, you're going to need a cable needle, and. I don't have a cable needle because I never use one because I cable without one, so I'm going to use this other needle, okay, which you can do if you need to, but you can use a double pointed needle, which I don't know why you would have those either, but <laughs> you can use a cable needle. For this, go ahead and slip four stitches like this, just pearl wise from tip to tip, onto your cable needle or extra needle, and let's see, I'm just going to slide that extra needle to the back there. See what I did there? I'm just gonna... I'm holding those four stitches in the back just like a regular two stitch cable or two, two crossing two cable. Alright, <clears throat> so hold those in the back and we're gonna work and rib across these four stitches right here. There we go. Tighten that up right there. So knit Pearl, knit, pearl. Now, if you have a cable needle, you can just go ahead and work straight off the stitches back there. You can just knit starting from this end. I can't, so I'm just going to go ahead and put these back on like this, holding that stuff to the front. I mean, you can do this too if your cable needle is like one of those metal ones from Joann's that it's not that fun to knit off of. You can go like this and just transfer the stitches back onto the left hand needle from the extra needle. So, no matter what, no matter what you have, you'll be able to do this reversible cable. All right. Now we need to go ahead and work in ribbing along these four stitches right here. Knit. Pro. It's going to be a little bit. Oops. Haha. <laughs> what did I tell you? Let's see. <clears throat> we do that one already. Yes, we did. Okay. Saved it. Okay, that was a knit stitch right there. How, as I was saying, this is going to be a little bit tight because we did just cross four stitches over four other stitches. So if you think about it in regular cabling terms, that's like an eight stitch cable. So it's not small. So that part right there is gonna be a little bit of a, of a jam until we work a few more rows. All right, let's now work about four more rows in ribbing and see how it looks. Right? There's our cross, it's starting to look really nice, but the more we work in ribbing, the better it's going to look. So work some more rows and I'll meet you back here. Here's how our swatch looks with four more rows of ribbing. You can see that cable is really starting to stand out beautifully and reversibly. Completely reversible. How awesome is that? 
So just keep going. This um this eight stitch cable, I like to do six uh plain rows, three knit rows and three pro rows before I cable again. So let's see if where was the cable row? I bet it is right here. Right? There it is right there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I did a pro row, a knit row, a pro row, a knit row, and a pro row. And now I'm back to knitting. So let's see, do we have, okay, so we do, if the pro row right after the cable counts as part of the cable, then we do six plain rows. So we've done, that's part of the cable, then we go, we've got one, two, three, four. We need to do another two, and then it would be time to do the cable again. And also you can notice that it really does pull in the fabric quite a bit. Ribbing already pulls in. This is going to pull it in even more. So make sure that you leave like a big border on both sides and it'll look a lot better. This can also be purled by the way. This can be a reverse stockinette stitch right here. Whatever you want to make the cable stand out. But there's your two-sided cable. Yay! Go try it right now.